welcome back to my nursery. If you are already following me, here I am finally today to do a video. Finally, I'm back to do a video, you guys. And welcome to my nursery if you are new and stopping by for the first time. I actually have an empty bed right here with no baby in it. That looks like I need another baby in my nursery, doesn't it? <laughs> I have a whole empty spot, you guys. That's unusual in your nursery to have an empty bed. I need to fill that bed. But I am painting babies, so eventually this spot will become full. But anyway, I am in the nursery this Saturday. I would call this my Reborn Saturday because <laughs> up in the nursery is my Reborn babies, my vinyl Reborns, that is. And in my bedroom, I have my silicone babies. So this Saturday, I am up here to change a few of my Reborn babies. They need some TLC. So this little girl right here in this seat is Aspen by Clea Taylor. And she is all painted and rooted by me. And I'm going to cast a shadow. I know. I'm very sorry. So that is her. And she is the only baby in here that's for sale at the moment. She is my baby that is up for sale. The lighting is terrible over here. But that is little Aspen. And she is for sale and if you're interested in Little Aspen, please contact me on my Instagram or Facebook Messenger, and I'll put those links under the video. So you can just click the Instagram link, and it'll take you right over to my Instagram, where you can message me if you are interested in this baby. She is still up for sale. Okay, so that's her, and I don't know if I'm going to change her in this video. Then in the car seat is my little keepsake baby. He is the first baby I ever, ever painted when I first started painting Vinyl Reborns back in 2017. And he is definitely a boo-boo baby, but I have learned so much since I painted him. And I still keep him just to look back at where I started at and how far I've come with my painting. And I love this particular sculpt. This is, what is his sculpt? The Zasha by Claire Taylor. So he was the first baby that I ever painted and rooted. That's him. So he stays there. I just changed him actually today, matter of fact. He doesn't get changed very often, but I did change him today. So he is wearing a little alligator romper. Next to him is my Laura. She will be getting changed. She's Laura by Bonnie Brown, and she is also painted and rooted by me. Then next to her is Little Miss Miracle by Laura Lee Eagles. She is also painted and rooted by me, and she will also get changed today. And in the Mama Rules, we have the Gabby Gale twins, Gabby Gale Awake, is Naya Grace. She was painted by, let's see if I get it right this time, you guys. <laughs> Gladys Reborn Nursery. Gladys Aguila is her artist. That is Naya. She will not be getting changed in this video. And over here is the Gabby Gale Asleep by Clea Taylor. And he is Grayson Gale. And he was painted and rooted by me so these two will not be getting changed in this video they got changed last time and in the crib is my little malik and malik is also painted and rooted by me and he is the pascal by joanna kazmerzak so he's going to be the first baby getting changed and i'm trying not to take too long to start the video so that way I won't take up a whole amount of time starting so hopefully I could change the babies that I want to get changed in this video 
So that was just a little quick look around the nursery before we start changing the babies. So how is everyone doing on this lovely Saturday? I'm trying to pull this cord and it doesn't want to pull. Um, I hope all of you guys are doing well. I am doing pretty good today. It is just hot here in Georgia. It's definitely muggy and hot. It was raining and the more it kind of has that little drizzly rain every now and then it'll have spells of rain then the sun comes out it just makes more and more humidity so it is muggy and hot down here but i'm not gonna complain but yeah the ac has been like i would say i haven't really turned off my air conditioner in the past two weeks straight it pretty much, it's been warm and it's kind of staying warm at this point, I guess. It is definitely summer. Like, it's running close to 90 degrees at this point down here. Pretty regular now. So, anyway, if you are new to my nursery, please subscribe if you would like to subscribe to my channel do that now hit that subscribe button so you don't forget i'm trying to get his feet out of this footy and it's like really fitting his little foot so please hit the subscribe button please click the notification bell so you'll be notified when i do put up new videos um, please, everyone, hit the like button. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. You help my videos to circulate and be recommended to other viewers to watch. The more videos, the more likes the video gets, the more it is recommended to others to watch. The algorithm definitely picks up when you guys hit that like button. And I just dropped his bracelet somewhere. Sorry, you guys. And I guess I'll have to find it after the video. But it was in his little sleeper. And it dropped right on the floor off of his little arm. So this little guy, I'm going to take this shirt off this time. Is my little Malik. And I just can't keep saying enough. <laughs> How much I love this little boy. His hair is dry now. Um, I am just so attached to this baby. I just absolutely love this little baby here. Like, this is the first time he's been up in the nursery since whatever the last video I did. And I had him up here. When I put him in that sleeper, I pretty much take him back in my room. After he has his video time and he goes back in my bedroom. Like he has a spot permanently. <laughs> it seems permanently in my bedroom. I just absolutely have to see him near me all the time. So he's getting another Winnie the Pooh diaper. Which I didn't realize is a Huggies. I didn't realize he's already wearing this one. But he's going to get the same one. He doesn't really need a diaper change, but I'll change it. Because I think I just put this on him like maybe Thursday. Because I had gave him a new scent wafer in it. So I believe I just put this on him. But we will change him anyway. So anyway, you guys. As usual, my week was busy. So I didn't get to put up any videos i'm just getting back on today to do this video i thought i would have gotten to do a video during the week this week but it didn't happen and for those of you who have messaged me and asked how my granddaughter was doing thank you so much for reaching out i really appreciate all of your thoughts and prayers and well wishes i can't thank you guys enough 
and she is doing well she is stable she is fine thank you so much for asking um and it seems like this will be kind of a regular segment in my videos where i mention and talk about my granddaughter and update you guys about her condition or her her what would i call it her progress um if you're new i have a new granddaughter she is now a month old you guys can you believe it um yesterday i think yeah yesterday the 19th she turned one month old so she made her first real milestone of one month so this pants i'm gonna put on hand they are blue with this brown stripes with a green dinosaur on the little back on the tushy and these are newborn pants and they just look so little carter's newborn it has this onesie with it where it's kind of an off-white ivory with the dinosaurs on it brown and green dinosaurs and they have like navy blue on the dinosaurs so he could get those that shirt rather with the pants or he can get the brown shirt with the dinosaurs on it with the pants so i'm gonna see which one i like and i actually bought this outfit for him while i was painting him like, I was just anticipating finishing this baby. I couldn't wait to paint him and finish him. I just love this kit, even when it was blank. Like, soon as it got here and I opened it, I was just in love. Before I got it and just seen it on other people's videos and pictures on Instagram, I just love this, this sculpt. And I just, since I painted him, I love him even more. I can't even explain it. Okay, so my daughter said to put the brown shirt. And I actually do like him with the brown shirt. And then I have these booties out. They are not dinosaurs, but the brown kind of goes with the brown. So I think I'm going to do the brown little onesie. And we'll save this little onesie for someone else or for another time. So, yes, you guys, she is doing well. Little Alora, that is her name. And I can't believe it has been a whole month. I'm going to just mess with his hair a little bit in the back. It has been a whole month since she was born. The time just flies, but at the same time, it, it seems like it's been longer than a month. <laughs> like, it's so much that has went on with her in the month that it just seems like it's been longer than a month. I think I need to root him some more hair right here. It looks really light right there. Now I see it as I'm brushing it. That's what happens when you be trying to root and finish quick. And then afterwards, you'd be like, wait a minute, I missed the whole spot. That's how bad I was trying to finish. <laughs> yes, I have to add some hair right there because I think I missed like the whole spot right there. It's a little hair there, but it's too light. Like I need to add some. And speaking of rooting, you guys haven't seen my little Levi in quite a while. He's still here. And remember when I said I was going to root him? That's why you guys have not seen him come back on yet. Because when I was going to root him, I took him apart to root him. And I never got to start at that time because my granddaughter was born all of a sudden. And it's, like I said, she was born early. She was born premature for those who are new. And she was born last month on April 19th. And she was, at that time, 27 weeks. Her mommy was 27 weeks and two days with her gestation in the pregnancy. So that is why I never got to finish, or even start, rather, poor little Levi's hair. Because this hair will still run. Like, I need to rinse it. So I usually put something under it when it's wet. So yeah, I never got to um, start rooting Levi. So I finally 
started him last night. So I haven't done much, but I did finally start rooting little Levi. And that's why you guys haven't seen him. Someone asked me if he's up for sale. Um, but he's not going to be up for sale. I'm going to root him. He is definitely one of my keeper babies in my collection. My Levi by Bonnie Brown. Who is also painted by me. And I'm currently now rooting him. And I miss changing him and everything. That's another baby that I really, really love. Um, so I'm going to try to focus on his rooting and try to finish it in the next week. I don't know if it's going to happen because with running to the hospital and stuff, my time, like my free time is very limited. But I'm going to try to, um, like finish rooting him soon. Yeah, I like that color on him. I wasn't sure if I would, but I do. So, anywho, that is what I'm working on now, is rooting Levi. And also, I'm still painting. How many Reborns am I painting? I'm painting three. Two are mine to keep in my own collection. And one of them will be for sale whenever I'm done. The one that's going to be for sale, I will share him or her when I'm done. I'm thinking it's going to be a boy, though. Um, on my channel, I'll bring him on when he's done and share him just in case anybody is interested in him. He will also be an ethnic skin tone. Um, and so when he's done, I will share him. And I think he's going to be the one that I finish first because I'm working on him more than I am the two that I'm going to keep. The two that I'm going to keep, I'm kind of just working on them whenever in between. When the other one is baking that I'm going to sell, then I work on the two that's mine to keep. Which usually that's how I do it. When I'm going to keep the baby, I don't rush to finish them. It's more so when I'm going to sell a baby, I try to more focus on the one that I want to actually put up for sale. And little Aspen that I showed you guys at the beginning of the video, she is still hanging around. I've had so many people inquire about her, but no one has actually purchased her. But she is still available if anybody's interested. And if you want to know the price or any details or you want more pictures or anything of her, just message me over on Instagram or my Facebook Messenger on Facebook, I'm Erica Jones. So, I like him, his little bare feet. <laughs> With no shoes. He looks adorable. That's his little feet at the bottom. So, that's him with no shoes. But, I'm going to try his little booties. And the brown on the booties is, like, different from the brown but it kind of blends in. I just love these Carter's outfits for newborn looking babies. When you want to have like that, just newborn look, I love Carter's. When my babies, my real babies was babies, they were in Carter's. So Carter's to me, it just represents that new newborn look, that traditional classic newborn look for me. <laughs> It's not too, too dressy. It just looks casual, comfortable, and the baby just looks newborn in Carter's. So I just love it for that reason. So that is little Malik's outfit. That is his little tushy with his dinosaur. And now we're going to move him and get the next baby because I always run out of time on my videos. That's his little chubby cheeks with his pacifier. And he usually gets a little nook. I like him with the nook. I need to make him some more. So now let's get the next baby. And I hope I don't trip over this cord. Matter of fact, I'll put him in the bassinet that's empty. We will put you over here.
Okay, who's up next? Hmm. I think I will oops, grab Laura. I mean, this is not Laura. Miracle. Since she's kind of halfway undressed as it is, we will just change her first because she hasn't been changed in a while either these are my little loveys for my nursery with erica's precious ones nursery on them that's a girl one the one i had up there before is kind of i guess gender neutral this little puppy and i need to get some more of those made i did give one of them or two away I think I sold one. Someone wanted to buy one. So I need to get some more of them. And the baby that's for sale, Aspen, I will send her home with one. If you noticed at the beginning of the video, in her seat, she's sitting with one of the lovies near her. It's a bigger one. It's a unicorn. That will go home with her. Whenever she finds her new mommy, I have so many people that want her, but they want to do layaway, and I really didn't want to do a layaway, so that's why she's still here. So, this is the little romper with the suns on there, and it's like a beige color with gold suns, and it is uh, zero to three months. Old Navy has snaps in the back, and the little flutter sleeve. So, she's going to get that with this headband it's gold i'm gonna change her into this pamper size one diaper so yeah that's why she's still here um because i don't really want to do a layaway um i feel like the price i have her at it's a reasonable price. It's not too high. I still don't sell my dolls as high as some artists or at the going rate of Reborns now. My dolls are nowhere near what they actually go for now. Um, I price my dolls according to how they are painted when I'm done. And that Aspen is painted very, very well. I love her skin tone. Um, her hair is really nice and soft and curly. But I'm not a professional rooter. I always say that. And, I, and that is true. But she's rooted nice enough. But she's not micro-rooted or anything. So I price my dolls according to my skill. So my painting is great. In my opinion, not patting myself on the back. But looking at her, she's a realistic skin tone. She's painted neatly. Um, but like I said, my rooting is not like a professional rooter. So I price my dolls a little less. If I do root them, I wouldn't charge as much as, say, some artists would when their dolls are rooted. Because I'm not a professional rooter. So she is priced, in my opinion, very... Um, affordable for the a reborn because nowadays what the reborns are going for when it is professionally rooted painted nice and everything definitely they are going for sometimes 900 a thousand 1200 1500 and up for a vinyl reborn um so my dolls are like nowhere near price near that um, not yet. So I feel like I would prefer to sell her and just sell her, not do a whole long layaway. I had like at least three to four people, I believe, ask me for a layaway until August, from now until August. And for me, I just feel like that's too long of a layaway for the price, especially that I have her at. So I would just, I'm trying to just sell her and be done with it. But so far, she's still here and I'm not rushing her to go anywhere. Because she was supposed to be for sale anyway when I was painting her. Originally, I was planning to sell her. 
And then after I finished painting her, I wanted to keep her. I really love how she came out. And I love that Aspen sculpt. So I was like, maybe I'll just keep her. You know, actually, this baby has full arms. So I could have took her T-shirt off under her little romper. But I'll just leave it on now. Um, so, yeah, I just decided, okay, I'm going to sell her. Because I definitely have more babies in my collection right now than I've had in a long time. So, I decided I'm going to let her go. But, with the long layaway, I'm just not really wanting to do the long layaway. So, as of right now, she's still here. And I'm not going to rush to sell her. Maybe she's supposed to be here. I don't know. <laughs> Because I, like I said, I was going to keep her anyway. So maybe I'm supposed to keep her. I don't know. So this baby, I love her size, Little Miracle. I love this, um, this sculpt too. It's like right now, I have sculpts in my collection that I really, really, truly love. Some of them are newer. Some of them are older. Like this Miracle is definitely an older sculpt from like 2014 Miracle came out. So I had wanted this sculpt since back then. When I first came into the hobby collecting these lifelike dolls, I wanted a Miracle. And it took me all this time to finally get a Miracle. And like I said, she was gifted to me, this kit. Because right now, if you can find a Miracle Kit blank anywhere, the ones I was finding when I was looking to find a blank kit to paint was $500 and up for the blank. So I was so over the moon when the lady, it was a friend that asked me at the time, you know, was I interested in having this kit to paint because she was going to give her to me. And she just gave her to me. I still can't believe it. And I had, when she, and she didn't know, you know, that I had wanted a miracle since back in like 2014. She had no idea. And she was like, I have a miracle and a Knox. If you're interested, you can have them because I'm not going to paint them. She was saying she had planned on painting them and then she changed her mind and they were just sitting and she asked me, did I want them? And I was like, what? Yes, I want them. I'll take them. And so I still have my Knox waiting to get painted also. He hasn't gotten painted yet either. So I might leave her feet out. I don't know. But I have these shoes, which they are actually crib shoes. And they are gold. But her foot looks so little when I put it. Yes, this shoe is so big. It's a zero to three months Carter shoe, but it's every baby I put this shoe on pretty much is too big for them. I have to try them on my Gabby Gail. Maybe she can fit them because every baby so far, I tried those shoes on. They're just too big. Then I have these little sandals. I love these. <laughs> they are that like neutral tan color by Old Navy. Also a crib shoe. So they not very heavy on the baby's legs or feet, which I usually try to get crib shoes for my babies, not where they have like a thick, thick sole, especially for the, the silicone babies. I try to stick to shoes that aren't too heavy so she can fit this one. It looks cute. It's a little big too, but she could get away with this one. That kind of looks cute. And then I had this one, which is really tiny. Um, Layla can actually fit these. They, they're tiny, but a little, still a little big for little Layla. But if you have a baby with a tiny foot, they kind of can fit this shoe too. Yeah, maybe I'll let her wear this one. But then I have one more baby and that baby wouldn't have a shoe because I was going to let the next baby wear this shoe. Little Laura. Hmm. 
I guess I'll keep the 10 ones on Miracle and try the white ones on Laura. Because the white ones kind of go with Laura's outfit. And what minutes are we at? 30 minutes. I'm trying not to go past 40 minutes. Can I make it? Can I change one more baby, guys? And not go past the 40 I don't know how much space my camera has and I hope and pray it does not cut off on me before I'm done changing all of my babies I don't know I might have to put those white sandals back on Miracle because these are still a little big for her but that's how they look on her foot and that is Miracle up close with her little romper so we're going to move Miracle and that's how she looks with a pacifier. And now I'm going to get Laura. And I'll be right back. And before I forget to finish my update. So my grandbaby is doing well as I was saying. Um, she is now a month old yesterday. And as far as her gestational weeks, if she was still in her mommy where she belonged, she would be like, uh, 32 weeks at this point, like 32 weeks and some days gestation. And she's doing okay. She is now three pounds and 10 ounces so she's definitely putting on her weight nicely um she's approaching four pounds soon and that will be another milestone when she hits her little four pound mark so that's good right there um the major two things she doesn't have any infection that's number one that's major um, because with preemies, they tend to get infections really easy. So that is definitely something they try to prevent them from getting infections. And they check the blood work to make sure they don't have any infections. Um, she did have an infection about two weeks ago. And they treated it with antibiotics. And it did clear up, thank God. So she has no infections when they checked her this week. And she's doing well as far as that. She's gaining her weight. I would say the main thing right now is being ex extubated, as they say, from her breathing tube. You know, getting the breathing tube out. That is one thing right there that is very important. And that is the thing she's been having the struggle with is the breathing tube. So, so far, they haven't tried to remove that again yet. So, she's going to get this little romper. It's blue and white by Carter's. It has a white little onesie under there with blue polka dots on it. And these are little whales on here, blue whales. And what size is this? Zero to three months. And I think... Laura can wear newborn, but in a way she can kind of fit some zero to three months if they're not really, really huge. And her diaper, I had changed it, but it is ripping. She has one, one of those Eco Natty diapers that I really love, but they are so soft and they will tend to rip. So I have to get her diaper because that one is ripping. And I just had changed her into that. Whenever the last time I did a video last week and I showed you guys her. But we will take it off. And I also gave her a new scent wafer. I was pretty much changing all of the babies' new scent wafers this week. So even when I don't do videos, though, I interact with my babies off camera all the time. I will hold them. I will change their diapers and stuff. Sometimes I just want to hold them. But it's just that I might be too tired and out of it to actually do a video with them. 
so then they don't actually get a video. And those diapers, I love those Eco Natties, but they will tend to rip easy. And then sometimes the little cotton from them, or like the material the diaper is made from, it will get on the doll. So you cannot leave those on your doll long. Especially if it's a silicone doll, it will tend to actually get on the silicone. And then you can't get it off. You know how silicone, everything sticks to it. You have to get like your your blush brush and all of that to try to brush like get the stuff off of them so now i don't really like that newborn eco natty for my silicone babies they tend to just shred up too easily they break down too easy and even for her vinyl it's like sticking to it i gotta use the shirt to get it off because my hand is just making it stick more like it's staticky so yeah so that is her main thing her name is Alora, and right now her main thing guys i need your prayers still we in need of prayers with the breathing tube her come being able to breathe without it completely breathe on her own without it so her lungs are still trying to mature um but they did switch her the machine that the breathing tube is hooked up to where now she needs less help with her breathing. So that's an improvement. So keep the prayers coming for little Alora. And then the next thing major is the little, that opening I told you guys about and with the heart valve opening. That is not closed up yet either. It's closing, but it is not, you know, completely closed. And that, they said, takes time sometimes with premature babies for that valve to close. So she's also still, you know, trying to get through that part with the, you know, with the valve closing with her heart. And that's important, too. So we got two major things for little Alora to, 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 you know, two hurdles for her to overcome. And for her little body to, to conquer and, you know, for her lungs to mature. And then her that little valve for her heart, for it to close like it's supposed to on its own. That's what they're hoping, where they don't have to intervene. And that would be surgery. They wanting it to close on its own. And it's not all the way closed as of yet. So that's definitely, like, worrisome. For me and her mommy and daddy, her grandparents definitely is worrisome. I'm trying not to, but of course, you know, we're going to worry when it's our grandkids, our kids, you're going to worry. <laughs> but yes, so please continue praying for Alora, And I thank you guys for asking about her and checking on her and all of you who are praying for her. Thank you so much. So that is her update for this week. Um, so I think I'm going to put that blue headband. I hardly put blue on my baby girls. We're still rolling. Let me hurry up. So now this is Laura. I named her Laura Bell. And she, like I said, is Laura by Bonnie Brown, if you're new. And she's also painted and rooted by me, this little baby here. And I absolutely love this sculpt as well. I, I really, truly, like, have been um, trying to collect vinyl reborns that I really, 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 really want in my collection. Like, it has to be a reason that, that you know, that I bring them home. I tend to collect dolls it like they i have to really want them or i'm i don't bring them home i don't get dolls just say because it's a new sculpt i could want a doll and it's way old but it's one that i've wanted for a long time and i'll just all of a sudden finally get that opportunity to bring them home and i will still bring them home it could be some new sculpts i just see it and fall in love with it i have to bring it home you know but it has to be sculpts that I really want in my collection for me to keep it in my collection. 
It can't just be something, oh, I'll get it, like, and just get it just to get it. I have to really want it. Even with my, my silicone babies, I have to really, like, have some, like, attachment to it, something I love about it for me to bring it home and then to actually keep them. Because a lot of them, I get babies and I'll have it and then I don't actually keep it. It has to be something to really draw me in where that baby is just not going anywhere and it's definitely a keeper for me. So right now, I would say the babies I do have, they are like like certain ones definitely right now. I've wanted them and they and I finally have them. And I would say where it's a keeper for me, where I'm trying to hold on to certain ones and not wanting to let go of them. Definitely this baby here. Like all of the ones I just changed are keepers. Laura here, Miracle, Little Malik Pascal. Like I just love them. Um... And then all of my silicone babies that I have right now are keepers, pretty much, I want to say. None of them I'm looking to, like, let go of or anything. So, now that is Laura. I love the blue on her. That's her up close. That's her outfit. And she does fit these little sandals, too. I don't know if I really love them on her foot, but she fits them. So for now, I'm going to leave them on her, but I might end up taking them off because I kind of like the babies barefoot when it's summertime. They can go barefoot. And... <laughs> but that is all for this Saturday video, you guys. Laura is finally changed into a new outfit. But like I said, I don't know if I like these sandals for her. And I have so much baby shoes, but it's like I still need to go shoe shopping. And someone gave me a website for the little teeny sandals that Layla has on. And I was saying I can't find those sandals anywhere. And they found a website and they gave it to me and it has those sandals on there. So I haven't ordered them yet, but I'm planning to get them. And they have other small size sandals on that same website. So I need to definitely order some sandals from that website because i be needing sometimes the tiniest sandals for my babies with little feet and that website has them and right now i can't think of the name of the website but i screenshot the website so i can go back to it when i have time to shop on there and i probably will need sandals for my granddaughter she gonna need teeny little sandals because she got some tiny little feet <laughs> So it'll be a while before she can wear big sizes. She needs some tiny, tiny little preemie sandals. But anyway, guys, that's my video for this weekend. So next, when I come back, I guess I'll be dressing silicone babies. I seem to be variating, um, like switching up week to week. Silicone one week, vinyl reborns the next. So this was vinyl reborn Saturday in the nursery. And I guess when I come back... It'll be silicone baby time, probably in my bedroom. Usually I change the silicone babies in my bedroom. That seems to be how it's going, but who knows? I might come up here in the nursery with them. But yeah, I have um, who I want to change. Definitely my silicone boys. All three of them need to get changed, especially Jameson. He hasn't had a video in a while. So Jameson definitely will be a baby getting changed on my next video whatever day i come back on so anyway guys that is all for now take care stay well and we'll be back soon with another video bye bye <music>